Hey everybody, Silverback here. Um, today I got something Amazon goody here uh, from Marmot Man on Amazon. Um, sent me this little shell catcher, um, which I've tried it on every single firearm I have, and the only thing it seems to fit on, and even in his description, oh, don't mind the wind, by the way, it's just a beautiful 44 degree windy day out here in Virginia. Uh, <laughs> but the only thing this thing is designed to fit on is an AR uh, platform. So um, the only AR I have is my PSA 9, and it does fit pretty good on that, with the exception of having these little bump outs right here. Um, so that does pose a little bit of an issue um, putting it on there. So I had to make a slight bend right here just to make it fit a little tighter. So um, we're going to try it out and we're going to see how it works. Uh, I got three 30 round magazines loaded up and we're going to blast all three of those magazines through this into this shell catcher. Um, this thing on the site was only Ten or no, it was nine dollars and ninety nine cents on Amazon. I'll leave a link below, uh, probably pinned in the comments like I normally do. Um, hopefully the wind ain't getting you too much, and you can actually hear what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, let me uh, get this strapped on, and we'll put a magazine in there, and we'll start shooting some uh, rounds down range. All right, be right back. All right, so as you notice already off the bat, there's a bit of a gap right there so um, I'm not sure exactly how to bend this thing to make it fit just right on here all right so let me just try to bend it in a way where it will hold tight to the body to the lower receiver there and then uh, get this nice and tight all right so that's about as tight as I'm gonna be able to get this thing. So, um, I'm gonna pop one of these fun sticks inside and do some shooting, see what happens. All right, we're loaded up. Looks like we're free and clear. So let's take a few shots and got it on fire. Didn't get in the way of the bolt. We're gonna take a few shots and see what we get. You know it works. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, clear the gun, put it on safe. Now, got this cool little zipper right here to uh, dump all the shells out. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna zip that back up. We'll uh, get rid of that magazine. We'll stick that magazine in there and give it another go, another 30 rounds. Table's not level, I'm not being able to keep these <laughs> shell casings. I'll get as much as I can. But you know what? I'm not gonna empty this one. We're gonna see how well it'll hold with a little bit of weight now. So this is the last 30. So that'd be 90 rounds. Um, you know, I guess it's a sufficient test because I really wouldn't want to fill it up all the way and you know, I got all that weight because you know it's definitely not gonna hold a shit ton of weight anyway. So um, yeah, let's give it another shot and see what happens. One more. Fun stick down. So far, so good. Oh, we 
got a jam. All right, now I gotta take it off because we got a functional error. Yep, look at that, stove piping. <laughs> Magazine out. Man, it bit that bullet up good. Whew. All right, well, I only got like a couple rounds left in it. So let's just uh, fire these bad boys off and get on. Empty. All right, there you have it. I mean, it worked. I uh, was a little bit unsure of it at first, just because of the way that I got those little bump outs there on the end of the, the um, rail here. See here, this, this little bump outs, but I managed to make it work. There was a tiny little bit of a gap, but it still caught all the bullets. None of them, uh, not all the bullets, all the shell casings, none of them hit the ground. Um, so I'd say it would definitely fit better if these were flat, which I know I could probably get a flat one for it because it's not like, you know, I need to have this on here like that. But uh, that's just the way it came. Um, so maybe it'd be time to get a new rail for it. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but uh, I like this thing just the way it is. Um, but yeah, it actually fit on there pretty good, decently, after a little bend. Um, put this down over here it caught the shell casings no problem uh, and, you know and this is perfect for me because you know I reload my nine millimeter and I'm a fat guy and I don't like bending over to pick up the shell casings off the ground so uh, I think that works out well um, but when I go to shoot my handguns now this ain't gonna work on a handgun I'm gonna tell you like I said uh, I tried it on all the guns that I have um, in my house uh, it won't fit on a pump action shotgun it probably won't fit on a uh, semi-auto shotgun you know because the bolts right there is going to be sliding back and forth in here you might get in, interfere with that um, definitely wouldn't fit on the lever action because the ejector is uh, way up high <laughs> you could probably make it work if you really wanted to um, didn't fit on my pump action shotgun because this gets in the way of the pump you know uh, so that don't work there um, didn't go on my AK at all because again with the whole bolt you know and the charging handle being on the bolt um, that gets in the way so the only thing that I would really say this would work well on is the AR platform and it did well for my AR9 um, you know, maybe next time I get a chance to get out to my buddy Paris's place. Uh, he's got a, a nice AR-15 that uh, we might be able to try this on. It shoots the 556 five, round, so you know, uh, hey, we'll give it another shot then. But all right, everybody, it's just a quick little video on this uh, Marmot shell catcher. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, $9.99, I'll leave the link below. If it's something you're interested in, head on over and try it. I mean, for $9.99, it's, uh, it worked. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. Have fun.